Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online. This is the new Somerset expansion on the PlayStation 4 Pro. All right, so this is this is Jinx. We're Hi. we're playing some multiplayer, guys. Uh, so Jinx is a what is your class? I'm a wizard. A wizard, some type <laughs> of wizard, sorcerer. wizardy class. And I am the the dragon class, the dragon, dragon something. Dragon knight. Dragon knight. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter if the details are correct. No. All that matters whatever. is that it has a dragon in the title, guys. Axe so guy. we just started playing not that long ago. Jinx has a couple characters she played a lot. She has a lot more experience with. But these are relatively new characters, guys. We started on the Morrowind uh, expansion, and we only played for a little bit. We're only at level five or six right now. Uh, so we're, we're going to be playing this as pretty low level characters. We wanted to play as a little bit higher level characters, but uh, unfortunately we just didn't have the time to level up know, before right? Somerset came out. Because um, you know, you guys know how long I have been waiting to get him into an MMO with me. Yeah, if you guys have been following for the, cha the channel for a while, then you guys know that Jinx is constantly talking about how much he misses playing MMOs and how much he wants to play with me. Yeah. And I'm not a big fan of the MMOs, he guys. He won't do it. Um, but I, I've always considered playing this one since I love the Elder Scrolls uh, series. And this one is a hell of a lot of fun. So we're going to check this out, guys. We're going to be doing a series of this. Uh, it should be a lot of fun, and we're going to be doing the, since the Somerset expansion just came out, we're going to be doing the Somerset quest here. Uh, this is the Somerset world. Uh, you this get is some fancy clothes for pre-ordering. Yeah, if, if you pre-order. Did um, I get didn't get any. Salamander. Yeah, you get a salamander. Where's Jinx's salamander? I've still got the dog out. Where's your salamander? And a big kitty mount. Oh, and yeah, the <laughs> kitty mount, uh, which I guess I can ride it as well. Uh, so yeah, you got a kitty mount that's got like fiery eyes and shit. Uh, so that's cool, I guess. I think it's technically called like a nightmare cinch. It's a kitty with fire eyes. It's yeah. all that you really need to know, guys. All right, so let's get started on the quest. Uh, I want to go ahead and jump into this. Uh, this is the first guy we need to talk to. As I said, this is the starting area of the new Somerset uh, DLC. And this is the first quest you do, the Queen's Decree. Headed to the famed Russefeld Winery, Traveler. Well then, it seems I'm not the only one who'll be disappointed today. Old Hallimorian's been off by those wood elves. Won't be any wine tastings for a while, I'd wager. You mean there's been a murder? Just what I heard from one of the bailiffs. Apparently, some daffy Bosmer called the Ghost of the Green did it, but no one knows for sure. The investigations hit a snag. Something about the rule of three. Superstitious nonsense, if you ask me. Indeed. Until they find a suitable third investigator, the Juris Reeves and Revelators are left to sit on their hands. Nonsense. Why not go lend them a hand? They'll likely just tell you to go jump into the sea, but it can't hurt to ask. Alright, so we got our first quest, guys. We need to help Lorne unmask a mysterious killer from her past. Oh, we're excellent at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're really good at that. Didn't we just we were just playing a game where we were investigating. Yeah. Uh what's the name of the title? The Infectious, Infectious Madness. Madness. Of Dr. Decker. Of Dr. Decker, yeah. Do you want a butterfly? You can come rip his wings off. I know you're into that, Jinx. That's fine. <laughs> so where, how far do we have to go? Do we want to ride the cat? I um, just was trying to catch up to you. All right, so where is the quest it's located? It's over there. Oh, it's quite a ways away. However, I no, think we're going to... it's right there. Isn't there a quest guy right there? Oh, is this it? No, the arrow guy in the road. I don't see an arrow guy. Oh, yeah, you're right, Jinx. <laughs> Jinx is like pointing like crazy, like <laughs> as if we're on the computer and she's able to tap the screen I'm and like, show me exactly where it is when her hand, when it points at the TV screen, could be basically anywhere on the TV. Just follow Jinxie. <laughs> follow Jinxie. She knows the way. Um, I just had to come up here and investigate what's going on here. They're True, playing they're, uh, some instruments and shit. All right, so. Because you can't find treasure. What, just on the uh, old beaten path? Yeah. Off the beaten path and shit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one of my one of my favorite things about the uh, Elder Scrolls games is the exploration and just kind of, like, uh, getting lost in the world and uh, discovering stuff. So I hope that this game has it as well, since I think that's important. At least you can sky up, Skyrim up rocks. That's, <laughs> that's what's what important. That's what Yeah. <laughs> that's what's... That's all that matters yeah. is that we can Skyrim our way up mountains. Uh, which I, I don't know why we call it Skyrim and up because we were doing that same shit in Oblivion. I don't know if you did it in Morrowind because I didn't play Morrowind, but 
Alright, so... I don't think as much. It's not Let's get this quest started, guys. I'm ready to kill something. I've got an itchy <laughs> finger here. So, well, I'm just like that. Oriel provides. Greetings, Caraval. I am Chief Juris Reef Tarnamir of the Divine Prosecution. Or at least I was, in the long ago. I know this is unorthodox, but perhaps you'd be interested in helping us. As you can see, a murder took place here. My protégés, Lorne and Soraville, came to investigate, but I fear they may lack perspective. The particulars of this murder... Forgive me, I'm getting ahead of myself. They need fresh eyes. Yours, I believe. You would take on the duties of the Admonon, the Listening Eye. An auspicious role. The Admonon serves as the fulcrum, balancing competing theories. They also collect evidence, interview suspects and the like. What do you say? I thank the Divines that you've agreed to help. This murder weighs heavy on all of us. The victim, Elamorian, was not well liked. Many locals may lift a glass to his passing. But the assassin, the ghost of the green, that's altogether different. Alright, so let's do a little bit of investigating. Also apologize about the cars driving by. Uh, it's that time, it's dinner time, so <laughs> everybody's, you know, driving around looking not for us, food out there hunting. Hunting for their next uh, meal. Uh, so who's this ghost of the green? Better to ask Lorne about it. Capturing the ghost was her obsession for a time. The fact that he's returned does not sit well with her. I can say no more. I don't want to prejudice your impressions. The Admonon should bring a fresh perspective. They're the most gifted investigators I've ever trained. Soraville has keen eyes and solid instincts when it comes to reading people. Good at finding pressure points, you know? As for Lorne, she has a mind like a dwarven puzzle box. For Lorne, logic is an art. She's clinical in her sensibilities, precise. Many of us have come to rely on magical inquiry to solve crimes. She relies on her wits and intuition instead. Of course, this case presents unique challenges. Lorne and Soraville drifted apart shortly after they caught the original Ghost of the Green. It's a complicated matter, and not my story to tell. Suffice it to say, this case cuts deep, and Lorne seems distracted. Alright, I think that's enough information, guys. <laughs> uh, we know the gist of what we need to know here. Well, here's the dead guy, and oh, here's is he? <laughs> oh, wow, so we get to talk to him right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited. We get a huge dose of the story right from the get-go. Um, so you'll so be joining us. Good. Call me Lorne. No need for flowery titles. We Altmer have too many names already. I'm glad you're here. Outsiders often make the best admonins. A fresh pair of eyes will be essential here. More essential. It's a long and depressing story. One I'm not keen to recount. For now, just know that whoever murdered Halimorian took great pains to make it look like the work of the Ghost of the Green. A killer that Soraville and I apprehended decades ago. The ghost always left a signature to let us know it was him. He killed each victim with a single wood elf arrow to the heart, then laid a fern over the body. The fern is here, but the shot was sloppy, and the arrow is of high elven make. It's odd. I need to examine the body in more detail. Can you do a sweep of the vineyard? If you find anything, blow this whistle. It also might be worth questioning people in town. They'll be more forthcoming with an outsider. All right, so we're going to continue our investigation, guys. And we're going to search the fields where I imagine enemies will climb out of the ground or something. <laughs> and we'll have to fight them. Which... Or you just find an item and then blow your whistle. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, my rape whistle that yeah. I carry on me at all times, just in case. Just in know. case, guys, you just don't know when you're gonna need the rape whistle. Oh, they're Field all this, this way. Yeah, I just wanted to go up the hill. I know you I did. Wanted to take the hill. It does make sense. Mm -hmm. you know, scout out the area. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, we have a lot of different directions to go here. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Go through the uh, to search the fields uh, and see if uh, we There's actually need to guy. use our whistle. Oh, yep. We do have to use our whistle. <laughs> <laughs> that was Jinx's whistle, by the way, That's guys. That's as good as it gets. It sounded better than his whistle, though, to be honest. That's true. Delightful. Oh, dear. 
Do we need to talk to her? No, they're just gonna talk with us. No like we're not even here. Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't fit the pattern. The ghost always kills with a bow. This was spur of the moment. Unexpected. Maybe she fought back. Why do you insist on puzzling these things over like in a family? He's the killer. <laughs> you know the death memory ritual. It's a simple... Enough, Soraville. You know that's forbidden. Adminin, look around and see if you can find the source of this blood. Okay. Alright, so let's see if we can't find the source of the blood. Oh, no. Alright, uh... Yeah, I, I think it's interesting that they open you up with, like, this investigation here. Um... I don't know, when I hop into something new, I always want a little bit of combat. Uh, I almost want to go just kind of run out and kill something real quick, because as I said, I need to blood I need to blood my weapon here. And that's uh, where you know that Praetorian's not really into MMOs. <laughs> you start out with story that no one gives a shit about and clicks <laughs> hurriedly through. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the way most people play MMOs, and I'm used to playing like RPGs where you want to listen to all the story and stuff. And then you go kill shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess we can, we can uh, continue on with the mission here because there's no enemies around here. There's no time to lose. All right, I'm going. I'm running. <laughs> this looks like an excellent climbing tree. Like, I just need it to sure climb does. up it. Uh, this guy's pathetic. He can't even get in the fucking tree. That's true. Ah, oh, poor guy. Uh, yeah, that looks like one of those it's trees that you, you climb up in and then fall down and break your leg or some shit. Uh, scratch the side of your... I still have... I have two scars on, on each side of, of my body. You can barely see them. They're both like little white white lines. And one was done from falling out of a tree. And the other was somebody... A crackhead tried, tried to cut me. This is a good spot for A some, suspicious sack. Some suspicious activities. Are you wanting to get frisky with me, Jinx? Because <laughs> you know I'm ready to go anytime. Bloodstained sickle. <gasps> so we have found the murder weapon, guys. Oh my goodness. He just stuffed it in a sack and hid it back here in the fuck spot. Like, really? That's where I you know. would hide it? You know how many people, people go back go here? There. I mean, look at what this lamp. This lamp is here for a reason. That's the perfect rock for setting a lady the down mood. on. Uh, <laughs> for sure, setting the mood in. <laughs> I was going to think, like, this 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 tree with the purple leaves was what really sets the mood. Yeah, That would get Jinx does. going, those purple leaves. I love purple. Mm-hmm. All right, so I guess we'll go continue back over here. Let them know we found a murder weapon. Although we didn't put it in a baggie or anything. We just grabbed it. Yeah, we got our fingerprints all over it and shit. It's Damn. fine. I don't know how advanced their investigation techniques are. <laughs> well, they got magic. You found so. something? So did I. It looks like Faril was strangled, not stabbed. This blood must be the attacker's. A sickle? Hmm. Blood on the blade. She must have used it to defend herself. Then the attacker hid it. This blood could be the key. I intend to, yes. I'm a fair hand at alchemy. You'd be surprised how useful it can be in my line of work. I've caught more killers with flasks and alembics than I have with any sword. My husband used to say I... Sorry. I suppose it's past time I told you. The ghost murdered 17 people before we caught him. His last victim was my husband. Soraville's wife committed suicide when she heard the news. They were having an affair, you see. It was a difficult time. Scandals. It's fine, I just... Now you see why we needed a neutral party. <sighs> Enough. Let's get back on task. I'd like you to search Halimorian's villa. It's just southwest of here. He was unpopular. Okay, so we gotta find out why he's unpopular by searching his villa. And the plot thickens as far as our investigators, their involvement with this case here. I I'm expecting a copycat, honestly. It's just somebody who's trying to cover up their murders by blaming some old past murderer. Alright, so it looks like we need well, to go shit, we this way. Have to do for us. Well, because I already discovered. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't know who did it, though. Who's True. the copycat? We've got to discover it, Jinx. Uh, we gotta find out who it is. All right, so more searching and no combat, unfortunately. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a warrior, guys. It's, I know. My character is a warrior. He doesn't Eventually, like all this investigation stuff. All right, so let's go in here. When we find out who did it, they will sure to not go quietly. Yeah, and then we'll have to to engage them in combat. Uh, so we can steal. Yeah, you can. The bananas and, and the rack. 
We're still off of the rack here. Let's let's get into sneak mode. Nobody sees anything, guys. Ooh, she's one. coming. She's gonna look at you. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sneaky, Jinx. Nobody can see All me. All right, so it's oh, the no. guy in the giant suit of armor. <laughs> I don't really need that wine anyway, guys. No, <laughs> it's not quite the quality that I now the wardrobe. I'm used to. I do need that. Yeah, Jinx is getting all up in the clothes wardrobe. Whenever she plays these RPGs, she always has like 20 sets of, of clothing uh, for oh, every okay. different occasion. All right, this is where we need to go. Let's just scroll up here. Is there? All right, so we can read this. Uh, I understand that you received a formal complaint for the Wood Elf community regarding my associations with one of their number, a handsome Wood Elf maid named Feral. Please believe me when I say... Uh, that the entire matter is a tragic misunderstanding blown widely out of proportion by their lack of education and inherent brutish biases. I assure you I have treated the Wood Elves with all the respect they deserve and I never laid a hand on Pharaoh. Even so, it's our burden to make our new guests feel as welcome as possible. Therefore, in order to address any lingering concerns, I have dismissed Pharaoh from her indenture. I sent her to one of my local competitors, uh, another tenant of yours, I believe, with a ringing endorsement. I hear she has found comfortable employment there and is quite pleased with the, this outcome. As an additional gesture of goodwill, I will be sending a gift to my new wood elf neighbors. As you well know, our labors rely on tight communal bonds of fraternity and love. I hope the steps I've taken will be sufficient. Harmon harmoniously <laughs> yours. Halamorion. There we go. The fondler. <laughs> <laughs> Was he a fondler? Who knows? Yeah. We don't actually know. There could he be more to the story. Some fine Jinx. little wood elf booty. And, and then he, he grabbed just it, right? Keep his hands <laughs> he couldn't to keep himself. his hands off of it. Well, because the high elves, they think they're superior to everybody. And they got to grab up on them wood elves, you know? I know, it's, like, uh, Somerset's beautiful and all, but high elves. Yeah. Uh, if, oh, well, we never mentioned what, what a race we were. I'm a Nord, if you and can't I'm tell. I'm a dark elf. I'm a big old monster Nord. And Jinx is a dark elf. You wouldn't be able to tell with that mask that she's wearing. Um,. But yeah, she's to a... To cover my illustrious beauty. Yeah, you really need to show us what your face looks like. I guess we haven't even shown. We should, we should take our mask off, Jinx, All just right, real quick. Fine. To kind of show what our characters look like. Everybody knows. Uh, I'm going to take my, my helmet off here. All right, here so... It is. Oh, you're, you're bald. I forgot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so there's Jinx. Can't really see her all that well. If we pull her over. Here we go. Get all uh, up in my grill. Get all up in her grill. She's got some cool looking Gorgeous. tattoos and shit. And she's gone gray early. Uh, yeah. It's all the stress she's faced as, uh, as a dark elf. Uh, and then I went with the bald look because I'm starting to get, like, I'm just like, maybe I should just make all my characters bald now because yeah. baldness is coming my way, guys. I'm aging. And just shave your head and grow out your beard. Exactly. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. And yeah, I've got the nice long beard to uh, accurately represent my current look. <laughs> I do need to get uh, my beard long enough where I can uh, where I can braid it like that, guys. Yes, he won't let me. I never said that. I never said he that. I don't have it in a... Stuff in it. Yeah, you're not putting bells. I'm gonna Jinx style it. wants to put bells in my beard. And and then she says, I, I can keep adding one for every time I slay. <laughs> never mind, this is not appropriate. Let's talk to the... <laughs> let's talk to Lauren here. Sorry. I don't mean to be checking up on you. I just think better when I walk. And the blood is still simmering in the Alembic. It will be some time before I have the results. Did you find anything of use in Halamorian's villa? I found this letter. From what I hear, the accusations are almost certainly true. So, Halamorian was making unwanted advances. Of course. The original ghost murder spree started with a high elf farmer who took liberties with his boss laborers. We never published the details of that investigation. It can't be a coincidence. This new ghost must be someone in the know. Someone close. None that I'm keen to share, not yet anyway. For now, let's go with what we know. The wood elves have motive. Soraville went down to the cottage east of here to look around. Meet him there, and see if you can shake anything loose. I have to think. Okay. Uh, so this is how it originally started as well. Uh, somebody with grabby fingers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that might he might very well have had grabby fingers, guys. Uh, I do you actually case. like a lot of the quests and the, you know, the little storylines mm -hmm. that you go along. They're, they're quite dark. 
Well, and they're well done for an MMO, uh, which is why Jinx was thinking this would be like the one MMO to kind of get me playing because I like into it. I like the stories of, of RPGs. Snare you. So yeah, we are gonna listen to the. I don't know if everybody does this when they play these type of games MMOs because, uh, frankly, usually the stories are, are garbage. So you just kind of like cut through them. Uh, it's just and you gotta read them and stuff. So I don't know if when people play MMOs on YouTube, because uh, we don't really do that very much. Uh, if they do listen to the story as we're doing, but for right now that's what we're gonna do unless we get a lot of feedback from people in the comments saying, uh, just fucking play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Go fight something. Yeah, because it feels like we're gonna have a whole episode here with no fucking fighting. Um, we're not gonna have that, guys. We'll go out into the wilderness and, and kill something if need be. Uh, yeah, and we gotta talk to this wood elf lady. Investigate. Who are you? Are you with a divine prosecution? My husband warned me you might come poking round. Halamorian hated us. He abused our children and tried to drive us off. Of course the high elves would suspect us. And our son Kellan, he... Never mind. Please just go. We don't want any trouble. We just want to live here in peace. All right. So we can't persuade. Um, I just don't have the ability to do so. Uh, so if your son is involved, he could be in danger, and I want to help him. So he probably is involved. Uh, are you sure there's nothing else you want to tell me? Yes, I'm sure. Look, you're free to look around. Just try to. We're simple men, and we don't have much. Halimorian may have been a cruel bigot, but none of us would ever murder him for it. I swear. Okay. I really like her clothes. Yeah, I like her her outfit. I like uh, whatever that thing she's wearing around her neck. Some kind of a uh, yeah, like a bird skull. Yeah, that is awesome. All right, so we're done here, I believe. Unless oh we wait a minute, look around and investigate. Oh yep, there's something up here. We're gonna go dig through her panty box, I guess. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. <laughs> this is not a decision. Of, yep, we're gonna dig in the fucking panty box. Don't wear panties. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, their porn collection. Oh, this will tell geez. us everything we need to know. Kellen's into some furry shit. <laughs> yeah, he's into furries. <laughs> to oblivion with this place. When we left Grotwood, Father said we would find fortune blessings here in Somerset. Ha! All we found is stuck up long legs shoving us around and treating us like dogs. We work in the vineyard for in the vineyard for practically nothing, a scant handful of gold each. It's hardly enough to live on. We hunt just as we did before, but these deer are skittish and lean. There's a hex on the beast here. They give us a mouthful of meat and bones, too flimsy to make anything useful. Uh, did you want to start from The here? only thing that makes it bearable is feral. By Yifri, she's the most beautiful creature I've ever seen. She has wide eyes like butter chestnuts, a <laughs> swan's neck, and ears sharp as wolf's teeth. Let me put it down here in ink. I will marry that girl. If I can earn her fancy, all this will be worth it. Damn that beast, Halamorian. Feral came to me in tears last night. She said that lecherous bastard grabbed her arse and damn near tried to force his forked tongue down her throat. Mark me, I'll have that mongrel's head in my stew pot by the year's end. I can't believe it. Zen must have heard my prayers. While I was out hunting, I came upon the ghost of the green. The real ghost of the green, not that imposter the high elves caught years ago. He gave me a set of leathers, a mask, a bow, and a quiver, then told me to kill as he would. I can scarcely believe it, but it's true. I am the ghost of the green, and I will have my vengeance. I thought it would be satisfying to kill Halamorian. I thought I would heal Feral's wounds and set things right, but now, gods, I have such doubts. I looked down at him, writhing in the dirt, and felt such a weight on my chest. I could hardly breathe. I never should have done this. What would my mother think if she found out? I need to think, to ask for forgiveness. Perhaps I can find it in the Red Temple. I'm going there now. All right, so wasn't a very difficult investigation <laughs> it was it was him uh and that was because his lady love was the one who was getting felt up i don't feel like this guy needs to bring be brought to justice honestly it seems like just it seems like justice has already been done this guy's over here grabbing up on his lady and he dealt with it yeah i don't i don't feel like, like we need man. to can we kill these little critters here no nope we can Aww. i killed one it's a ringtail bastard I got game from it and ingredient for food, Jeannie. Well, I guess there's that. I just called you Jinxy. <laughs> Genies. Oh, <laughs> uh, we gotta talk to... Oh, somebody out there? Yeah. Oh, to I, took, I took a little bit of damage from that fall. Twisted an ankle or something. It's nice how she's always right where we're Thank at. You. I bought oh, this up is as much guy. time as I could. I hope you found something useful. A shrine? Hmm. There's an old shrine to Ifre west of here. The Red Temple. But from what Tarnamir told me, people rarely visit. Filled with wild animals or some such. I only know of one entrance. A cave nearby. Follow me. Oh, thank God. Tell me we're going <laughs> to fight something. 
Bring me to some animals to kill. Adventure. Adventure. And All right, so. <laughs> oh, am I not following him? Nope. nope <laughs> I'm just running my own way. And the cave was just conveniently very nearby, wasn't it? It is. And it's packed. It's crowded. We'll I can't get see it all shit. for ourselves, though. Oh, we got it. Click X. Okay, got it. Are we all loading in here? Yeah. What do you mean we'll get it all to ourselves? They, you won't see, no, you see other some players? People. Oh, okay. It's like instances or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we'll actually get to get to do some combat. I was really concerned that <laughs> there wasn't going to be any combat. No fighting. Yeah, in this first that quest would be line. Lame. Yeah, so uh, we'll get to show you all our powers and shit. It looks like Jinx is already in. That's because I just stood there for a while trying to buy. <laughs> I didn't Squatting. know I needed to, need to press X. With just nuts and cracks in your face. Mm-hmm. Because that's how I like it, I guess. Um, well, I, you know, something for everybody. I just feel like I've been bad. I've been dirty, and I need to be I need to be punished. Okay. <laughs> let's let's continue on. We should split uh, up. Don't want this little scamp slipping out behind us. I can handle this gap easily. You search the other hall. So essentially, he's gonna do nothing Pretty while much. we do everything. Yeah. Got it. All right, I understand. It's kind of a prick. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Typical but... video game shit. Oh, there's a spider somewhere. Where? Is that a spider? Oh, he's really little. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, a little baby spider. Uh, there are people in here. Uh, yeah. We'll kill every little baby spider we come across because I don't know. This, at least not it's killing something. Real life. Oh, everything's already been killed, man. Yeah. All the big stuff's already been killed. Look at them all. They're all dead. There's a chest. Where? The iron dagger. Oh. It's not worth shit. I got a lockpick in mine. It's not locked. No, I got a lockpick oh, in mine. Oh, gotcha. All right, is this him? Oh, and he just he just died. Oh, shit. You, though, you're perfect. Kellen! Tell Lorne her past is hunting her present. Yes, tell her that. All right, so that is the ghost of the green oh, up there. Oh, we talk to him. What? What's happening? Am I? The ghost recruited me. Said he needed me. He gave me the costume. Told me to kill as he would. Alamorian hated us. Was going to kill us. I know it. After what he did to Faril. Faril is dead. Oh, divines. You've cursed me, haven't you? I only shot Halamorian, I swear it. Faru was so kind. I wanted Halamorian to pay. I thought... I thought the Ghost of the Green was a hero. I wanted people to see me that way. Never saw his face. He never said his name. I, I didn't need to know. I read the stories. I believed in him and... He saw something in me. <laughs> I never... Mother... Uh, I'm sorry. Alright, so he died. Uh, so there is a bit more to the story. We can't take he the hunting arrow. just a lad. Right, so we'll go and grab that up. It seems like it's important to the investigation here. Uh, and yeah, we know that he was being manipulated, of course. There's always some... Um, poor sap that's being manipulated. Some creepy old guy in the shadows. Yep, and because of... Well, I'm not thinking a creepy old guy. I'm, the way that this dude was manipulated, I'm automatically thinking she, it's a lady. Uh, crimson catch. There's a giant a fucking crab over here. All right, let's let's fight, guys. It might be ch too challenging. I don't know. We might be able to take it's it out, it. though. All right, so I'm going to try and lock it in place, and we have some kind of combo that we can use. Yeah. When I lock him in place, the Jinx has to get up close, I think, to use it. Yeah. All right, and uh, I also have this ability where I can, like, leap for it. Oh, I can exploit some. Oh, I can exploit when you're, uh, when you make him dizzy and shit. Oh, cool. All right, interesting. Working together. Yeah, we got a lot of teamwork here. Healing. All right. I'm always the healer. Yeah, Jinx has got some healing powers. Uh, and found some gold here. Scraps. A spell. A staff, do you need it? Is this something you'd use? Um, it's a no, healing staff, that's no? Fine. I have one. Alright, you don't want Better my staff? Yeah. Oh, I, mean, I you see. Know. You're too good for my thank staff. You know. It's very good. This kind was my offer. gift that I was trying to give her for our anniversary, and she uh, oh. turned it right down. Well, jeez. I, I was trying to get in there because it looks like there's alcohol. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have a sword and a shield. Yeah, that's what's in here. Uh, a maple shield 
and a cumberry chai. I believe the the way that works is that when you pick up those kind of items, it's it's kind of randomized yeah. what you get. Oh, there's you can't loot that one. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any more loot, guys. If you didn't know, if you haven't seen any of our let's plays before, he's a hoarder. I'm not a hoarder. I'm a looter. I'm a looter. Get it right, Jinx. Uh, there's also a sword over here, and a inferno staff. Oh. All right, so that yeah. seems pretty cool. I hate that like I don't have the you know the second weapon uh -huh. slots. You got do you have to unlock that at a certain yeah, level or something? Yeah, it's at like level oh, ten, so it's a, not too bad. There's another crab thing here. We'll just we'll just bounce. I think this is it for this area, unless we go. Yeah, we gotta go talk to that guy. Yeah, I think we're done here. All right, well let's go chit chat with them. Let them know what we found. Uh, let them know that we the guy's dead. We didn't find enough. I forgot that you can also roll, guys. I haven't rolled enough. There's a roll in the game, oh, if true. you didn't know. Uh, so, let's go and chit-chat with this guy. I was too slow. Damned Mer slipped right past me. Tall for a wood elf, and quick as a spooked hare. So, it really is the chief's son. Wait, what? What do you mean, another ghost of the green? Uh, the journal you showed me... Did Kellan kill Halamorian or not? What about the wood elf girl, Fariel? Did he kill her too? Yes. Show her the arrow immediately. Perhaps she can compare Kellan's blood to the blood on Fariel's sickle. At the very least, we'll be able to determine if Kellan killed Fariel. I'll be along as soon as I'm able. All right, guys. Uh, so we're moving along in the quest. Uh, still attempting to discover who this uh, new guy is. I wonder if they didn't catch the wrong wrong person originally. Maybe. It's a possibility. The plot thickens. All right, guys, so we are going to cut through that loading because it was an unusually long load time. <laughs> and there was even some text that came up uh, stating that uh, it took forever to get through that. Oh, i got to kill this bird. All right. I know that there's no... There's no honor in killing this bird, guys. Well, but if you're gonna it was eat it. it was just for dinner. You, it was hunting. You didn't even take the meat. Yeah, I did. I took the meat, Jinx. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm telling you, we each have our own looting. And when there's not something to loot, it's just because that thing didn't drop anything for you. That's all there is. Oh. Uh, so yeah, we each we each have our own little loot system here. I've never right, actually so had a friend in this game. Yeah, Jinx has never played with a friend before. I'm just so low. Yeah, she uh, does have a bit of experience. Uh, what was your highest level character like? Twenty something. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've said you had a bit of experience. I didn't say you were some amazing. It's all powerful. Yeah, all powerful wizard or whatever you were the last time you played through here. Uh, but yeah, the uh, room here is hot as fuck, guys. Yeah. I'm sweating balls, man. It's one of the unfortunate things about recording while our kids are still awake because we have to have like the door closed mm -hmm. and uh, it gets hot as fuck up in here with the door closed. Even the All air the on. Electronics. Mm -hmm. Well, especially when we're both playing, we have what a TV, two basically two monitors going. You know, the TV and then the monitor. Jinx is on. Uh, two PlayStations, the computer, and then yeah. its monitor, and yeah, it's and it's not a very big room. Yeah, it's a pretty tiny room, so it gets nice and hot in here. Uh, the only good thing about it being nice hot in here is that Jinx tends to take her clothes off. I do, because so, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm, like and I'm absolutely fine with that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Lauren and let her know what we have discovered. You're back, and not a moment too soon. Do you have something for me? A second ghost. I suspected as much. And he killed this Kellan with that arrow. Another high elf hunting arrow, like the one that killed Halimorian. Kellan had motive. This second ghost provided the costume, the weaponry. But why? So, this isn't about Halimorian. It isn't about the wood elves or Ultima prejudiced. It's about me. It's always been about me. I knew it. I knew this was too convenient. I also knew the Mur who killed Farel couldn't be this Kalan. I just finished experimenting on the blood from Farel's sickle. It was Altma blood. This second ghost isn't some wood elf zealot. He's a high elf like me. I moved the bodies to Tarnamir's manor. We should... Maybe we missed something. All right. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm I'm kind of agreeing with Jace here. I think it's her partner, uh, the other guy, um, because you notice he disappeared as soon as we got went to that place. Yeah. He went his own separate way, 
uh, to discover something. He also has the ability to teleport, just like the little elf thing he does, the uh, green thing. <laughs> what the fuck is he called? Green ghost? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, just like the green ghost. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's him. I think Jinx was spot on. Uh, plus, they have a history. He was he was uh, well, he's associated with it. Killed herself. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's pop on in here. What? What? This place has been ransacked. Oh no! 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 Tonomia? Tonomia, are you here? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, there's. Oh dear. No, this is not this good. Is no. Yeah. All right. Put all their feet together like this in a, a cross or an X. Tell you sure here. Scratches. And there's a bookshelf. All right. Make sure you read the bookshelf. And scratches. All right. And there's a jewelry box. Oh shit. Um. Yeah. That's not. I don't think anything here is stealing, since you know all the owners are dead. It's so. already been stolen. Yeah. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I, I like to read all the books because I think they don't they put the skills up. Yeah, uh, you can sometimes find skills. Yeah, skill books. Yep. All right, so let's. But there's scratches. You need to investigate. No, wait, no, 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 Jinx. I need to come up here and loot. That's what I need to do. Right. There's a pewter necklace. All right, we'll take that. Uh, let's see what else we can find the scratches in say here. Alluvian. All right, is there anything? No more loot, guys. All right. Loot's always a priority, though. I put it before just everything. about everything else. Yeah. He sure does. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and investigate these scratches that Jinx found earlier. We found something. All right, so we searched the area. Now we need to go back and talk to Lauren. Let her know what we found here. This is a message. Everything in this room. It's all meant to tell us something. What's that on the wall? Elevane is another name for the Helis Owl. The Elevanes lay their eggs, then abandon them. We use that word to describe people who are cold-hearted or aloof. And then there's the bodies. Arranged to mimic Mara's cross. This is about love. Intimacy. Or more likely, someone I failed to love. There's only one suspect left. A mer with means, motive, and deep understanding of the ghost of the green. It... No. It can't be. The ghost of the green ruined Soraville's life. Just as he ruined mine. If not for the ghost, Soraville's wife would likely still be alive. I have to know. I'm sorry for what you're about to see. Stand back, and I'll show you. You All already right, saw she's how about to do some magic, guys. Now we'll see the others. What's this? A tiny ghost of a green? Ha! Run along, well, before. What have I done? Kellan definitely killed Halamorian. Now, Faril. Who are you? I'm afraid you've seen too much, you poor thing. Soraville was observing Kellon when Foril saw him. She slashed him with her sickle before he overpowered her. So it is you. Shame on you. The shame is Lord's old myrrh. Now she'll have your death on her conscience, too. No, Soraville. This is you and you alone. Give my regards to my loving wife and Lorne's degenerate husband. Lorne. I know you're watching, Lorne. Now that I've broken your spirit and you've broken your vow, come to the place where my wife is buried. There, I will break your body. Okay. <laughs> well, all right then. I'll be outside. All right, so when you go outside and have a chat with her, but yeah, this is one of my things with the MMOs that kind of throws me off just a little bit. Is like you have like all these people like, <laughs> like wandering around. around here. Yeah, like uh, somebody named Neurotink. 
2311, a wounded wumpus. Uh, yeah, I mean, you see these guys running around here. Kind of, kind of takes me out of the element just a little bit, I suppose. All right, so let's go ahead and chit chat with her. Uh, and we've got like Bane over here. He broke her <laughs> soul, and now he's gonna break her body. So yeah. I think Bane did it the opposite way. I that think it might be like the a, best way to do it. A yeah. pickup line, actually. A little bit. Like, I'm yeah. gonna break your body, bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna beat that pussy up. <laughs> <laughs> or what like destroy it destroy it yeah like dudes that say that like no. do you really think that that makes a woman want to you're gonna destroy your pussy like it's gonna be unusable <laughs> you destroyed it it's it no longer get yeah. to use it with another person because you destroyed it yeah i don't think this that's a great pickup line guys just uh speak from experience here you're sticking by my side even after i use that death memory ritual i appreciate that admin truly I suppose I owe you a bit of an explanation. I told you how the ghost of the green killed my husband. Sorville's wife, my husband's lover, was overcome with grief. I think she truly loved him. As soon as she heard the news, she climbed into the wash tub, opened her wrists, and died. Not for that, for what came after. Sorovil wanted us to mend each other's wounds. Perhaps even fall in love and make a life together. I just couldn't. I focused on the work and pushed him away. He grew detached, bitter. Now I need to stop him. So for him it was like a revenge fuck type of thing. <laughs> like... Your husband fucked my wife, and now I'm gonna fuck his wife type of deal. Exactly. And when she refused to participate in that, uh, it pissed him off quite a bit. Oh, uh, they might have fucked. Yeah, maybe. I guess it they could have. like they did. Yeah, okay, they might have fucked, and then he fell in love or something. Yeah, um, and she was like, ah, uh, I'm gonna focus on my work. Yeah, I'm fire resist resistance because I'm a dragon warrior, guys, if you didn't oh, okay. know. Uh, dragon knight, that's why I'm fire resistant. I'm not. I think everybody is. I don't think I'm fire is. Fire I don't think it's even. Because I'm a dark elf. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and hop in to the Red Temple Catacombs. Uh, which is the same place we went before, isn't it? No. You sure? I thought it was called Red Temple Catacombs. I know there's a different entrance to it. Oh, true. It is um, a different entrance. Yeah. I, I think it's the same. I think it was called Red Temple Catacombs. By the, <gasps> by the way, guys, I mm. should. Oh, Jinx is getting excited homes. about home decorator and permissions. You need to give me that permission for you. Why? I don't even so have I a home. I can decorate your furnishings. I don't even have a home. I have no house, guys. We will build a home together. That would be very nice, Jinx. It'll be better than the home that we have in our life. Yes. Natural It'll be winter. Lavish. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger too. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and loot all the urns before we go. Uh, priorities, guys. Why not? Yeah, I want to make it clear though when I said uh, from experience, I've never actually said that to a woman, by the way, guys. I oh, just want to make that clear. It to me all the time. That I'm going to destroy your pussy. But it totally works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. And he means what he says. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> That's what I say. It's more like Wreck It Ralph or something. Oh, Ever since okay. I saw Wreck It Ralph, I'm just wreck it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, so I think that's all the loot here. Let's uh, continue on. See if we can't finish this quest up before the end of the episode. And it was a very nice uh, timing quest. Oh, she got beat up. Oh, she's oh, no. all busted. Don't can we talk to her? No, we can't. We just need to go go after him. We can't, we can't let him escape. Well, hopefully he's not trying to escape. Hopefully he's trying to ambush us because loot, guys. Is this a loot? <laughs> Scavenger. Oh, it's a rat. Pretty I thought they were called like man. Skaven or something like that. What are you talking about? I'm finding good shit here. I got a shield. You got guts? No, not the guts. I found a shield, James. Finding your guts. Mm hmm. All right, let's. Well, I'm if continuing. Find any spare balls. Let me know. Spare balls? Yeah. You need a pair I, of balls? I need some balls. <laughs> For. Stress relief. All right, so the uh, Graven Slayer is in here, and he's already attacking me. Or she? Is that a she? Is that him? It's a she. Okay. It's got boobs anyway. Yeah, so we'd assume that it's a she. Oh, oh you got rolls too. Beef. Roll away, Jinx. Roll away. I just oh, won't. that was a bit late. <laughs> Sorry. All right, Iron Sabatons of Magicka. Oh, Ooh, nice. nice. We'll have to equip those a little bit later, guys. Uh, we'll try not to do too much inventory management uh, during the yeah. uh, recording, guys. But if you find something that's just too good. Yeah, we'll throw it on. I'm going to go with this guy here. 
get the sword Lock maker. It. Oh, damn. Knocked me on my ass. <laughs> Did you say the sword maker? <laughs> Just fighting a, You're really that concerned it. about a sword maker? <laughs> Saying, Jinx. <laughs> I don't think when I think you'll be all right. Deliverance. He became a real nuisance for the land. <laughs> yep. Impregnated everyone. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, guys. So, you guys like my cool spikes? They're totally cool. I got awesome spikes that hang on my back. Jealous? Yeah. Oh, like whoa! Too. Yeah, the whip is badass. Uh, I when we first were about to start recording, I said. Okay, so I've got to like try really, really hard not to make any inappropriate whip jokes. Yeah, because there's plenty. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of things you can say to get your ass in trouble. Do with that. Lots yeah. of damage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think it's funny Our for PR the moment? Person will be yeah. Like, oh god. Yeah, our PR person. That's oh, me, how do you do the interrupt? Are oh, you the PR person? L two and R two. Yeah. All right. I took care of the oh, marksman. I just exploited someone. It feels so dirty. <laughs> All right. Well, I got this one uh, clenched in my claws. I grabbed her by the pussy. Oh, I found breaches of magica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's another enemy over here. Luckily, lots of fighting. I like this, guys. Yeah. This is what I was looking for. Uh, I also have this little sprint car. thing. Yeah, it's just kind of weird that we had so much uh, investigation, like right from the get-go uh, of the uh, uh, the new quest line. I just think that they kind of uh, messed up on that one, personally. Uh, they should have introduced it with a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit more combat. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Because imagine if you're a new player. I guess the way they look at it is a new player because I think they have a new tutorial as yeah, well. Yeah, they do. So I think the way they looked at it is uh, they had just finished the tutorial, which has combat, and maybe they need a little bit of a rest, you know. It's like, I don't want to overwhelm you. Exactly, yeah. Uh, but speaking of RPGs, guys, I've been playing The Witcher 3. I know I'm, I'm really, really, <laughs> really late on it, but oh my god, that game is so good. It seems good. Yeah, it is great. Um, I wish I had more time to play it, because it's one of those games that you just kind of want to, like, lose your life on, you know? Uh, just, well, your inventory is full. What? Aw oh, man, we haven't been like selling stuff. Inventory I mean, I don't need to pick up the awesome. ash, but I suppose we're gonna have to get rid of some stuff, guys, so I can oh, at least no. pick up. We're in a fight. All right, I guess I'll go deal with it. Uh -huh. Get him! Where is he? He's right there. Oh, okay, I see. I may April. or may not have provoked. Him. Oh, I'm rooted. All oh, right. me too. Uh, you get out of it with the roll. Yeah. All right. Um, so let's deal with our inventory, guys. Figure out. What we can do to fix this situation. I do but have an offhand <laughs> um, weapon here that I could equip if I wanted to. Uh, well, I think I'm using a two-handed weapon though, so yeah, we're not gonna. Are. Yeah, we're not gonna want to do that. I like rocking with the two-handed weapons, guys. Uh, you're a brute. Yes, because I'm a brute. So I got a bunch of items here. Um, don't you need to put them in a box or something like that? A box? Yeah, like don't you put all your your crafting items in a box? Uh, you have a bank. Yeah, a bank. But it's full of stuff. Yeah, that's right. I didn't have any from my previous characters. Mhm. Mm so I guess that's a good thing, right? Well, I'll have oh, to well, find that's... time to like um Jinx is trying to take yeah. it all her shit back is what I she's want saying. My shit, really? <laughs> you can't have it back. I'm sorry, Jinx. Aww. I'm sorry. But I want it. I guess these things aren't really worth much. They're only worth one gold. Perhaps we should just get rid of them? The trash? Yeah, I mean, it is trash. Oh, we are mm -hmm. being attacked. Oh, of course. I can't deal with my inventory well, not without being attacked. Dungeon. Well, because they keep, they keep spawning. Yeah. And that's another thing I, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of RPG, uh, MMOs about. Is, uh, respawn. Yeah, the constant respawn up. Alright, I guess we'll look inside her inventory, reach inside her pockets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we should probably continue on uh, yeah, a little bit. I, well, what I really wanted to do was open up some spots so I can pick some shit up here. Uh, so I was trying to get rid of a few things. Um, oh, a homespun. Yeah, we're going to pick that up. All right, so we're going to get over here where I don't think there's any enemies. I mean, I guess there could be. Let me just get rid of all that trash that I have in my inventory, and then we'll we'll continue on. Does all this stuff take up slots as well? Like all your material, everything, everything does. does? Yeah. Oh, that's and sucks. it's like per you know stack. Mm-hmm. All right, well let's get rid of some stuff, guys. Oh fuck! 
You got my back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got rid of my rye, There's man. There's somebody else here, too. Oh, that sucks. You got rid of what? My rye. I was going to make beer oh. with that. God okay. damn it. Jinx, Rye's everywhere. Jinx doesn't understand how irritated I am. No, I'm irritated because of rye. <laughs> uh, we'll get rid of the danger heart, I guess. I have I like 500 maple shields. I don't know what exactly I need to get rid of and what I need to keep. I'm just trying to open up some inventory slots. All right, so we got six slots open, guys. Hopefully no more inventory management for this this uh oh this episode. Oh, no. How across. do we get across? We got a leap. Did you just jump, Jinx? No. <laughs> you got to take a leap of faith. Uh, no. It's Jinx is trying to, Jinx oh, is trying to trick me. Here. There's a way over here. <laughs> She's trying to get me to jump <laughs> off and shit. She's like, just do it. Ooh, just jump. Yeah, we didn't get to fight those spiders the last time we were in here. Somebody else had killed them. Yeah. I can't do my leap, man. Because it's not high enough. Right? There we go. Ha ha ha. It's a cave. <laughs> You'll bonk your head. You guys are so worried about me. I am. My Be safety. Mm. I'm a healer. You're such a mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why I'm always a healer. Like, did you guys drink your potions? <laughs> did you get your buffs? <laughs> I can really see Jinx doing this too, <laughs> being the mom of the group. Mm -hmm. I've got some sandwiches. <laughs> I probably would have sandwiches. Yeah. Man, these spiders are thick here. Yeah, there's a, a lot of them here. They're like our house in the fall. Yeah. Oh my God, we've got a serious spider problem here, guys. It's bad. We've got a ton of spiders here. They are everywhere. And, and we've got black people. widows, guys. Yeah. Yep, we've got the bad ones. It's not just the little ones. Uh, we've got spiders. Alright, so... Yeah, this uh, section's a lot longer than I was expecting yeah. it to be. Of course. The dungeon's going to be pretty lengthy. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you can... Can you save inside of a dungeon? Well, no, Go there's to... not really any saving. Oh, yeah, true. You just leave your character wherever. Yeah. Alright, so we're not going to fight those two. We're going to try and continue on here, guys. Uh, see if we can't make a little bit of progress and try and get this, this story mission done. We'll have to fight these two because can't have them nipping at our heels all day. Oh, yeah. All right. What I like about this weapon is that it does have that nice long swing here, wide swing, so that I can like hit multiple people. Oh no! Shit froze. I got your back. Oh, he did that move on me. My move. Oh, how dare he? He jacked my move, Jinx. All, right. all I get to loot is the centipede. Yeah, that's all I was able to loot as well. All right, so yeah, we're being forced to fight all these dudes. Uh, oh, nice. We have gotten to the, the boss. Excellent. I hope he's a challenge. Uh, maybe. All right, took him out. And we just got spice out. sword makers after me. <laughs> uh, Jinx, is, Jinx is scared of the sword maker. All right, so some gold. I was really thinking I was going to get to pick her elven shield up. All right. How disappointing. All right, so he's over here somewhere. I'm not sure where. He's hiding. He's hiding like a Hide coward. Closed doors. You fucking pussy. Oh, I think we have to go up this way, Jinx. I suppose there's probably a loot all around here we should be where picking up, right? There's a door. No, I think he's, I think he's up high, Jinx. I don't know. I could be wrong. I was just following the arrow. Well, the arrow leads back oh, to this wait, way. Okay. I see, what you're see what I'm saying? So I'm thinking we've got to go. Oh, here he is. Oh, did you find him? Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe he was just, just dead from the across. last. I think he was yeah. just dead from the last guy who killed him. Uh, He's like, I'm getting sick of this shit. Uh huh. Being brought back to life over and over again. All right, so I'm gonna use my little claw ability. He's like Stick so a, badass. A claw on his asshole. My familiar's not even fucking with him. He's like, what? <laughs> what, bitch? Aw, he killed him. Now he's gonna kill me. <laughs> nah, it's, we're good, Jinx. We got this. Oh, fucking Pookie came over here and got the last hit. Fucking Pookie. God damn it, Pookie. There used to be a guy in my group home whose name was Pookie. Oh. Alright, Jokanic power increased to nine. Are we leaving? Yeah, let's let's get out of here. I think we've been here long enough, guys. Oh, well, we're not done yet. We still have to talk to Lauren. Uh, so it's nice that this exited right out. I like when dungeons do that, where the exits... Uh... Yeah, they just move you along. Mm-hmm, exactly. All right, so let's go and tell Lauren and let her know that we have avenged that guy that died. So lava. Is he... It's not he is. It's done then, isn't it? I knew he wouldn't come quietly. In the end, I bear the blame. A killer 
right beside me, and I didn't see it until more lives were lost. I'm glad you are here, Adminin. I will be. The arrow struck near my collarbone. Soroville was a gifted marksman. Maybe he couldn't see as well through the mask, or it was nerves. Or maybe he didn't really want me dead after all. Just one more question I'll never have answered. One more thing, if you're willing. I'm certain that Soroville never spoke to Kellan's parents, given that this was all his scheme to begin with. They lost their son, and they don't know why. It was you that avenged him. You should tell them that. I just need a moment here alone. Ironic that this came to a head in such a holy place. Maybe I can find some absolution here. Or at least some small measure of peace. He did. Perhaps I deserved it. But all those people. An innocent girl. A naive young myrrh. A dear friend. They paid the price. While I still live. I don't know if I'll ever make peace with that. You're right, I suppose. I just wish I had been better. A better jurisry, a better wife, a better friend. Maybe I could have prevented all this. I'm sorry. Thank you for your kind words. I will try to take them to heart. You have my word. Alright. So we finished up the initial quest, and then we gotta go talk to uh, the parents of the kid. Uh, and obviously that's probably gonna lead on to another quest and another quest, uh, and so on. Um, for the rest of your life. Yeah, <laughs> for the next like 20, 30, 40, 50 hours, who knows uh, how long the quest line is here in Somerset, but of course there's a lot of side quests as well that you can jump into. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm glad that we were able to, to essentially wrap the quest up. You know, there's still a few other things to take care of, but we killed the main guy, so I think it's it's perfect timing here uh, for ending this. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I know Jinx is. Jinx nice. gets super giddy about playing MMOs together. Um, she's she's very happy she's got this big old grin I'm on just them. yeah so happy <laughs> she's loving it uh so yeah we are going to be continuing playing this uh, playing elder scrolls online with the somerset expansion on the ps4 pro hope that you guys join us on the next episode where i have no idea what we're doing next we'll just have hopefully to see not you guys another investigation yeah hopefully no more investigations there's enough investigations for us today we did two today so with that other game as well so uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you leave that like subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos check out some of the other videos that we do have out there's a lot of videos we have on the channel uh leave a comment we love talking to you guys. We read and reply to all the comments. And those kind of things, those comments, those likes, they all help with the search engine. And this is part one. Uh, so, you know, it's going to help people find our channel. So if you're enjoying it, then you can uh, spread the P plus J love. Make sure that everybody can uh, uh, find us. I'm, like, just enamored with this view here. I'm, like, <laughs> wondering what the fuck that is over there. It's a mage tower. That's what it looks like, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like two mage it's towers. It's gotta be. It's one little one. That was the old mage, and then the young mage came, and he had to build a bigger tower. Of course. Yeah, it's like whipping out your penis and comparing penis to size here. <laughs> yeah, mine's bigger than yours. You're just not a powerful mage if you don't have the tallest tower. Yeah, your tower has to be as long as possible. Alright, guys. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.